Hi, my name's Amy and this is my story. My life, it just hasn't been easy the last few years. Uh, started with, in 2017, cancer. Uh, I was battling uh, stage three breast cancer. Fast forward a little, 2019, um, I started to go through divorce. It was a heartbreaking divorce, but last year I uh, uh, took a hit, my life took a big hit. My parents, um, I had to move in um, and take care of my mom first. My mom suffers with Huntington's disease. Um, this is like Alzheimer's, ALS, and Parkinson's all put together. My dad ended up on hospice too. So I was caring for both of them. And um, a month later, they both passed away. So I was dealing with the loss of both parents who were godly pillars in my life, who brought me up in the church, who taught me who God was, and I, I lost them. So it was challenging. I was feeling worn down and uh, I uh, decided to go to doctors and I was like, hey, I'm feeling this way, this is what's going on. And I let them know I thought it was uh, Guillain-Barre syndrome, which was something I had as a kid. But he sent me home and uh, said, probably not. And uh, so I went home. Uh, next morning, I literally jumped out of bed and I headed to emergency. I drove myself in and I got there and told them, hey, this is what's going on, this is what's happening. I feel like it's Guillain-Barre syndrome and you guys have to do a spinal tap. I fell into a coma. With a day after I checked into emergency, I was moved to ICU. I was then put on life support and uh, they ended up pinpointing and diagnosing what it was. And it was Guillain-Barre syndrome, um, but I had a very rare form of it called Bickerstaph encephalitis, which affects the brain stem. I was frustrated with God. I was upset. I mean, he took my parents. I had cancer. I haunt their divorce. I'm now laying in a bed. I'm being told you're not going to be able to walk. If that, we don't know if you're going to have a full recovery. You may have to have a cane. You may have to have a walker. You may be in a wheelchair for life. We don't know if your eyes are going to correct. We don't know if your vision is going to be straight. We don't know if you're going to be able to talk. Everything was we don't know. And I was just, God, hi, why? me why this why and as days started to go by i just i had that conversation just in a silent moment with him and he started to show things to me and i was humbled because he started to show me every time he did show up in every situation and as I started talking to him, doctors were saying, hey, you won't be able to do this. I was saying, but my God is bigger. My God can do it. Well, uh, November 15th, I took my first step. Uh, and yes, it was on a, a rail and I was holding on, but all I could think of when I was walking was how good my God is. Because you guys told me I couldn't. My God showed them that I could. December 9th, I got discharged from John Muir and I walked out of that hospital. <laughs> I walked out and I told them, see, like, see what my God did. Even though the healing didn't come right away. The, the results of divorce or, or cancer, they didn't come right in that moment, but God knew. 
when those results needed to happen. And they just keep happening. And I'm still, I'm still in that moment of still recovering, but I'm here, I'm alive, and I truly believe I'll be back up on stage soon, singing to him again.